Shalom family. Welcome to a new segment of Teo Ministries called Morning Commentary. This is where your Koba gets to get things off his chest. And the subtitle of this commentary is Why I Am Glad I Was Saved Before Waking Up to Being Israel. Why I Am Glad I Was Saved Before Waking Up to Being Israel. You know why I am glad, family, that I was saved before waking up to being Israel? So I don't have to get like these people with their laws, statutes, and commandments. So I can't get like these people who trust in the Old Testament and not in the Messiah. So that I will have already been saved, already have a relationship with Jesus Christ, who many of you call Yahushua, Yeshua. Our African brothers and sisters, some of them call him Yesu. Yes, I call him Jesus Christ. I call him Yahushua, the Savior of the Bible. I am glad that I was saved before waking up to being Israel. Because, you know, it's good to have my heritage. It's good to know that I'm not just a descendant of slaves, but of the chosen of the Most High. It is good. It is a good thing. Whether people tell you you're crazy or not, we know who we are. But I'm glad I was saved before waking up. Because, you know, after I did my, my tail nugget on Jesus, a.k.a. Yahushua, in the Old Testament, I got several emails from people who literally reject the Messiah, who reject Jesus Christ, who reject Yeshua. You know, and some people come up with the craziness. There was no J, blah, 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 blah. I can't, I can't deal with, with elementary level one-on-one -on -one education. I can't deal with that. I can't deal with that. You know, they are excited about being Israel, but not excited about the Savior. They reject the Savior. They, re they, they fulfill the prophecy that many shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. They fulfill the prophecy of denying the Lord that bought them. So, you know, family, I'm here, you know, I'm doing what the Most High called me to do and to you know, teach his word and, 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 and draw people to the Savior. And there's many people who reject him, who or of the bloodline of Israel. I am dumbfounded. I am flabbergasted. That at the time of the awakening of Israel. Is the time of the great falling away. I am flabbergasted. As my brother Berean would say. Some of y'all have run amok. There is no life without Yeshua. There is no life without Jesus Christ. There is no life without the Messiah. And you all who reject Jesus Christ, you all who reject Yeshua, you all who reject the Messiah of the Bible, you're on your way to hell. Ain't no if, ands, and buts. The law, statutes, and commandments cannot save you. Without Christ, you have to go back to sacrifices. Without Christ, you got to deal with bulls and goats. Without Christ, you need a temple. Without Christ, you need a Levitical priesthood, which you don't have. Without Christ, you have no power. Because the power came on Pentecost. The Holy Spirit came on Pentecost. If you reject the Messiah, you reject salvation. If you reject the Messiah, you reject power. If you reject the Messiah, you are open to demonic possession. If you reject the Messiah, you will get beat down by demons. At the time of the awakening is the time of the falling away. Now, you know, the other thing I'm going to say is this. 
you know, I get all kind of emails, you know, and you know you're cold, but I don't play. I don't play. I am who I am. It's my personality. Don't send me no emails. Don't send me no comments about me being in the flesh. I am fighting for people's souls. It's like my brother and I was talking. If I was falling away from the faith, I would want someone to fight for me. If I was on my way to hell, I would want someone to fight for me. No matter what you got to do, fight for me. If I saw someone about to walk off the cliff, I'm going to try to save them. If I was about to walk off the cliff, I would want someone to save me. I would want someone to fight for me. Who's your friend but the one who tries to save you? Christ died that you might have life. Christ is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. There is no temple. There is no Levitical priesthood anymore. Without Christ, you're hellbound. I know most ministries don't talk about hell no more, but we teach the full counsel of God from Genesis to Revelation. So why I am glad I was saved before waking up to being Israel? Because I already have a relationship with Christ. I already have a relationship with Yeshua. I am already born again of the spirit. And some of you all don't even know what that is. Some of you all were buck jump, jumping and dancing in church and had no relationship. Some of you were sitting in church for 20, 30 years and have no relationship with the Savior. So when you wake up to be in Israel, you buck jumping and dancing with the law, statutes, and commandments. In your makeshift synagogue or whatever you want to call it. Some of you all are on that wide path. That wide road that leads to destruction. That straight and narrow road is the road to Christ, is the road, road to the Father. No one comes to the Father but by Yeshua. Yeshua is all over the Old Testament. I haven't given you half of the scriptures dealing with Yeshua in the Old Testament. I haven't given you half. But you've got to be willing to seek him for yourself. I can't save you. All I can do is do what I'm called to do, which is to preach the word, teach the word, and move on. I'm going to have to dust my feet off. I'm going to pray for you. And I do pray for you. But I'm going to have to dust my feet off. Without Christ you have no power. Without Christ devils will have their way with you. Let me give you an example. When I first got saved. I was sleeping. I woke up like three in the morning, but I couldn't move. I couldn't talk. I couldn't do anything. But I, I was awake. I was conscious. And I could sense a darkness in the room on me. Some of you all call it sleep paralysis. It never happened to me before. But on the night I got saved. I knew it was a demon trying to kill me. I knew this. Now, remember, I just got saved that night. And I called on Jesus Christ. And immediately I was free. You don't know nothing about that power because you don't believe in Jesus Christ. You don't be, believe in Yeshua. You don't believe he's the only way to the Father. You don't know nothing about that power. Let me give you another story. This one I was living in Texas. Just my wife and I. So my wife used to work... And she would get off real late. She wouldn't get home till like midnight. I told her, I said, look, you need to stop stopping at the store at midnight because it's not safe. She said, okay. But you know how women are. They do what they want to do. So that, that whole week after that, that week after that, I kept having a waking vision. I would see my wife in the parking lot and I would see a guy trying to mug her. And this happened for like a week. So 
I, I believe it was a Friday. I'm almost sure it was a Friday. I had that vision again. I called my brother. I said, look, dude, I keep having these visions, man. I keep seeing my wife get mugged. And he said, well, what else you see? I said, you know, that's all I see. And I said, I, you know, I, I keep hearing, you know, don't jump off the balcony because if you jump off the balcony, you're going to sprain your ankle. And believe me, when I tell you, and my brother will tell you, because he was a witness, I walk out on the balcony, it was about midnight, and I see my wife, and a guy trying to steal her purse, and guess what my first reaction was, Don't to jump off the balcony, to get down there as fast as I can to help her. But I remember from the vision. Don't jump off the balcony, because if you jump off the balcony, you're going to sprain your ankle. So I went down the stairs. Now, the mugger, he got her purse, but her wallet was in her shopping bag, so he didn't get much of anything. But my point being is, the Most High even warned me about that. And... And I'm not going to say this to brag on Tail Ministries. I'm going to say what I'm about to say just to show you another example of being led by the Holy Spirit. If you look at Tail Ministry and our teachings, we're pretty much knocking it out the park on prophecy. We told you it's the end of the 400 years, which is the end of the curse, right? We're at that point. We believe it ends August 20, 2020. Maybe, maybe not. It's going to all happen like we say. But all we do know right now, we see plagues, locusts, uh, earthquakes, all kind of changes, right? Floods, coronavirus, pestilence. We see turmoil in the streets, protests, the potential for martial law. The war on the chosen as we taught. This quote unquote purge that they're trying to create. This race war against us. The teachings we did about alt left versus alt right. Why do you think tail is so accurate? It's because we are led of the Holy Spirit. We are led of the Holy Spirit. We are led of Yeshua. He is our King. The power comes from your faith in Christ because He's the one that gives you the Holy Spirit who will teach you all things and reveal all truth. And if you don't have Christ, you don't have His Spirit. If you don't have Christ, you're not part of the vine. If you don't have Christ, you're not a part of the vine. You're not attached to the vine. You are withered because you don't have life. Because life comes from divine. Life comes from Christ. You must be grafted back in through faith. And so Israel, Israel who, who is of blood, sons of the covenant, the original one, was broken off because of unbelief. It must be grafted in again through faith. But yet some of you all reject the Messiah who died and gave his life for you. And the Gentiles, the Gentiles who are branches grafted in contrary to nature will get into the kingdom and you won't because they believe and trust in Yeshua. Because no one will enter the kingdom unless they believe in Christ. Unless their sins are forgiven by the sacrifice of the blood of the Lamb. So now, you law, statutes, and commandment people, you best go find yourself a temple. You best go find yourself a Levitical priesthood. You best go find yourself someone to sacrifice animals for you, which you're not going to find because Christ is the final sacrifice. Because the blood of bulls and goats cannot save. That's why the Most High Yah sent His only begotten Son to die for us. 
so that those who can believe who believe in him should be saved this is the gospel this is the good news no longer is it your effort now is what he has done for you what a great god i was flabbergasted by the amount of people who reject the messiah i mean i knew there were some out there but there's way more than i thought as i mentioned at the time of the awakening is the time of the falling away wow I don't know what to do but pray for you all I can do is pray for you I can't save anybody all I can do is what I'm called to do and you all who reject the Messiah I'm gonna dust my feet off and go about my business cuz I can't save you I can pray for you and I do pray for you it is the father's will that all Israel be saved and I pray that all Israel be saved but from what I'm seeing right now, there's a good bit of you all falling away from the faith on that wide path. On that wide path. I mean, you wouldn't even know some of the prophecies unless you follow what Yeshua told you. You wouldn't know the end time prophecies unless what John told you in Revelation. It's all Yeshua, but you blinded by the devil. I don't get it. You might as well join the Ashkenazi Jews who reject the Messiah. You're no different. You're no different. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. Peace and blessings, Israel. Your captivity is ending.